Elsewhere, the northern region town of Nabuli is grappling with chronic shortage of water, compelling hundreds of residents there to haggle with livestock for water from the only pond left in the community. Many of them fear an outbreak of waterborne diseases as the dry season in northern Ghana reaches a climax around this time of year. Join us as Justice Beidou has just returned from the community. Here's his report. A long walk in search of water. These are the children of Naboli on their daily ritual. Along with them, they are donkeys. The journey is far and many times it takes these animals to make it. Unless uh, you look for motokin or donkeys that will fetch this water for you. These children are the ones paying the price for this community's chronic problem with water. When you drink, your stomach will pain you. We doesn't have water. We better drink in this water. This is the only place where the over 1,500 people who live in Nabuli get water from. Kato drink from here too. Look at this dirty water lying down here. If you fetch, if you, if you look inside, you still see a lot of things walking around inside the water. But you have to drink it. Now we have some old men and then old ladies in town and they cannot walk to this place. They have to buy. Sometimes it dries up and when it does, things get worse. Look at how the children are suffering with the, about the water. Some of them, because of the water, they don't go to school. But if they don't bath and go to school, the teacher will get them away to go home and bath. Then you go house, you don't get water to bath, you'll stay in the room, you won't get out again. Most of them reach about two weeks. They don't know, they don't go to class and learn one or E. The water looks brownish, extremely dirty, with broken pieces of tree branches floating on it. Nabuli is not alone. Hundreds of other villages in this part of Ghana are living with the harsh realities of thirst for water. When will they have something to quench that thirst? No one knows. Justice Pedu, Joy News, Nabuli, in the northern region.